what is up illustrious fam welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video for those of you that are new here my name is adrian go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you can be in the loop for every time that i post i am super excited to do this video for you guys as you can tell from the title i'm going to be talking about how i lost 40 pounds in the last five months and also just about what i eat in a day and just generally my overall fitness journey i've had a lot of people ask me on social media what I've been doing, which pause, if you don't follow me on social media, what are you waiting for? Like, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and follow my social so that we can connect on there. I've had a lot of people ask me just in general, what has inspired this whole journey? I hate when people use the term, like I've struggled with my weight my entire life because I just feel like it's really rooted in negative body image. So I don't want to say that I've struggled with my weight my entire life, but I have struggled, I would say with poor coping skills and I often turn to eating instead of other better coping skills. And so then that obviously negatively has affected my body in a lot of ways, which in turn leads to weight gain. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that last year, we year, we this channel has been such a long time. Yes, last year I went through a breakup that was really, really tough, but ultimately just such a life-changing, <laughs> beautiful thing for me. And during that relationship, and I'm not placing blame on that relationship whatsoever because I allowed myself to let myself go. After ending that relationship, I really felt like, okay, I need to get back to me. And I love being active. A couple of years ago, back in 2013, I lost about 50 pounds and then ended up gaining it all back. And while I was in that relationship, it was just bad. And so I was just eating a lot to cover up my feelings, to deal with a lot of the pain. And so when I ended that, I was like, okay, it's really time for me to return to my best active self. And so, I started working out again and here we are. If you guys see me looking over here, it's because I have my laptop here because I wrote down some of the most frequent questions that I was getting on social media so that I can make sure that I cover everything that people want to know. So the first question that people were asking a lot was if I'm doing some sort of program to lose weight. The answer is yes, this video is so not sponsored. These are my honest thoughts. I have been doing WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, and I've been doing the blue plan. They have the blue plan, the purple plan, and the green plan and they kind of make you take a test when you first join the app to talk to you about your fitness and health goals and kind of let you know which plan they feel is best for you. I really enjoy the blue plan because I'm the type of person that really likes flexibility in my diet and it's basically like a budget system. You get a certain amount of points per day based on your weight and your goals and every single food, drink, all of that has some sort of point value assigned to it. So let's say you have a favorite granola bar that you like to eat every day. That might be two points of your allotted 24 points for the day. As I said, I really love flexibility. I'm not the type of person that like can go five months without eating a cookie like a sis i need the cookie so <laughs> i really enjoy the ww blue plan because if you want to spend i'm just going to use budget terms if you want to spend 18 points on like a lavish taco dinner you can do that it just means that like throughout the rest of the day for breakfast you need to eat a low or zero point breakfast and lunch to a lot for that so i really enjoy the freedom of that it's just works super super well for me you also get weekly allowance like a weekly allowance of points if you just want to <laughs> binge one day and eat something crazy i also really love that the more active you are you also gain points that way so you can get activity points so if you're working out pretty frequently or every day you get to eat a little bit more so i just feel like it makes sense for my lifestyle the app is so user friendly there is a database on the app that pretty much has like every food known to mankind that you can look up. It's really helpful when you're out, when you go out to eat, like if you need to look up TGI Friday's boneless wings, it's in the app for you to know how many points they are. So I'm just really, really enjoying it. I highly recommend it. 
it's not super expensive. I guess expensive is relative. I pay $24.99 a month for like the basic membership just to be able to use the app. But I know that there are higher tiers where you can have like a weight loss coach and all of that kind of stuff. I don't personally feel that I need that, but it is something that I feel like you could look into if this program sounds interesting to you. So continuing on in the food theme, I've had a lot of people ask me what I eat in a day. Surprisingly, one thing that I've discovered recently is that I'm the type of person that can eat pretty much the same thing every day and be okay. A lot of people are not like that and that's fine. Obviously I do like to switch things up from time to time, but I can pretty much eat <laughs> the same stuff every day and enjoy it. So for breakfast, I usually will eat, I have become such a big Fiber One fan. If you're not hip to Fiber One, get hip to Fiber One. They're just very low calorie, decently low sugar, not all of their items are low sugar or low carb, but like pretty low cal, good options. So for breakfast, a lot of times I will eat a fiber one bar or I will do something with more protein like eggs and turkey bacon and some sort of side of fruit. When I say I can eat the same thing every day, y'all, I have chicken salad every single day for lunch, pretty much like across the board. I get my personal favorite brand is the Swanson canned chicken. The Swanson canned chicken is zero points. And then I use Hellman's cause there is no other mayo for me. Debate me, fight me. I don't like Dukes, none of that. Like Hellman's or bust. Um, Hellman's makes a wonderful light mayo that is very low points. And so I like that as well. So I just do like some mayo with the chicken, a little spicy ranch dressing, garlic powder, onion powder. You know, black people love garlic, onion powder. We always don't have that. Um, so you can add whatever seasonings you like. And one snack that I really have found goes beautifully with the chicken salad are pretzel crisps, the cracked pepper and sea salt ones. Mm, my God, yes. So that is pretty much my lunch almost every day. Like sometimes I switch up and I might do veggie straws or whatever with my chicken salad, but I am pretty consistent with chicken salad <laughs> almost every day. Dinner, dinner is really my opportunity to kind of have fun with my meals and switch it up. I do eat a lot of seafood. I eat a good amount of shrimp and crab because it's good protein and it's also like low cal and low points for the WW app. I have done a lot of like veggie type things. So I've created chipotle bowls. That is one of my favorite dinner meal. So it's just brown rice, black beans, corn, guacamole, all of these things that are really good for you. Um, well, not that guacamole is necessarily good for you, but avocados, healthy fat. Um, just like a little, just a little doubt of guacamole. I make my own homemade chipotle vinaigrette. So that has been really, really good for dinner. But any sort of like protein and greens, I will kind of sort of stick to. Like I love making teriyaki chicken breasts and a side of asparagus or a side of broccoli. So I think any sort of protein and greens are usually what I kind of try to stick to with dinner. Okay, so working out, the dreaded words, working out. I think the thing that I have learned so hardcore this time around with my fitness journey is that you have to enjoy whatever it is that you are doing for activity. You can't compare yourself to what other people are doing and how they are getting in shape because if you're doing that, it's just not gonna last, it's not gonna work for you. So again, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you've seen my friend Sam on there, that's my girl. Sam really inspired me to start getting back in shape because she was on a fitness journey as well. And Sam goes hard in the gym, like she does these high intensity interval training classes that are just like, they are insane and she loves it, she thrives on it. So at the beginning of my fitness journey, she was inviting me to class and I went a couple times, ended up like pulling my back out. It was awful, like I just didn't enjoy it, but she loves it, that's great for her. I needed to find things that were great for me. So she had also recommended something called Mixed Fit, which is just this like nationwide movement now that is like dance cardio almost. And I am gonna insert some footage here of me like getting my Mixed Fit on. Comment below if you think you know what song I was effing it up to. Um, so yeah, Mixed Fit has been a lot of fun. So, so much fun, especially like if you find a good, I will link the woman whose YouTube videos I do down below. She has amazing energy, like good, good music. And so that's been a lot of fun. I have also really 
fallen in love with Grow With Joe on YouTube, subscribe to her channel. She's so lovely. She has amazing energy. She does these walking workouts, which at first I was like, what is a, like, how do you walk to a video? They are so much fun. So you're essentially like walking in place for like 20 seconds and then doing other motions in between for like 40 seconds and then returning to a walk and then it might turn into a brisk jog and then a fast run in place and I was super skeptical of them at first like I would see her videos and it would be like join this four and a half mile walk and burn over 600 calories and I was like just walking in place Honey, by the end of that hour long workout, and she has shorter ones too, she has like 15 minute ones, 30 minute ones. I'm dripping sweat and I have definitely burned over 600 calories. I think it's because your heart rate is going so high the whole time, like you're in constant movement. So the workouts seem simple because the movements are simple, but they are not easy. I promise you by the end, you're going to want to drop. I do try to also do some strength training a couple of times a week. My arms for me have always been like a kind of flabby area that I've wanted to tone. So I try to make sure that like I give them the attention that they <laughs> deserve. I switch it up, but I have to have fun. I absolutely have to have fun. I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a couple weeks ago, I said that I had exercised for 150 days straight, which was so freaking crazy, like five months every day. Um, and I said that I was gonna be taking some rest days. <laughs> after that to be quite candid with y'all I'm not there yet I know my body needs rest and so like do as I say not as I do we absolutely need to rest I just haven't quite rested yet so I think I'm on day like 160 now I have been incorporating just like yoga workouts and those sort of things um every day is not super intense but it's, it's a journey y'all I do get a little bit obsessive with things sometimes so I'm really trying to learn like girl you need to rest and you're not going to be healthy or meet your weight loss goals or be able to maintain them if you don't take some days to rest now for the final part of the video I'm gonna put myself on blast a little bit especially for people who are just starting to get to know me just subscribing to my channel I have to drop the before and after photos but let me say my journey is definitely not finished. I have had a lot of people ask me about what my fitness or weight loss goals are. I really try so hard, you guys, not to be attached to a certain number because a number on a scale doesn't reflect your overall well-being or your overall health. And we get so negatively attached to those numbers and it affects our self-worth. And so I am a part of that population that is really trying to undo these negative things that I have told myself about weight my entire life. I started my weight loss journey in December I weighed in at 206 pounds, which was crazy. It was the heaviest I've ever been in life. And I hadn't even realized that I had gotten, you know, that high, but 206 pounds. I weighed in, so I weigh in once a week for WW on Thursdays. That's the day that I chose to weigh in. I weighed in this past Thursday at 166, so officially, 40 pounds down. So like I said, I'm not, you know, trying to be attached to a number, but I would like to be at mid 150s. And in terms of a size, I just got into my first size eight pair of shorts. And I was very happy about it, but I, I would be comfortable at a size eight for the rest of my life. So I'm thinking another, you know, I could do a six though, but another like 10 pounds, 155, I think I would like to see. So that is kind of my goal. Pictures are so important for me because they're not about shaming who I used to be because I believe I was beautiful at the size that I was, I'm beautiful now, but it's more about when I'm looking in the mirror sometimes and I don't see my progress because you're with yourself every day. And so yeah, other people in the streets see you and they're like, oh my God, you look great or whatever, but you don't see it. So that's where the pictures come in handy. Like I have so many collages on my phone of like before and after progress so that I can visually see like, girl, you are, you are doing it. I know that you can't always see it, but here it is right in front of you. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm super happy to answer any other questions that you might have. Um, please follow me on social media. I love, love, love connecting with you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about WW or just want to connect about this journey in general, I do not have it all figured out. This video wasn't even super polished because as I started to record it, I was like, I don't even really know what to say about my fitness journey. I'm just kind of doing it and figuring it out as I go. So figure it out with me. But go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for continuously rocking with me for all of the support, all of the good vibes that you send me all the time. They do not go unnoticed and I am sending you love right back. So until the next time, live illustriously. Love y'all.